Hey everyone from Franklin, we're going to read a book called The Great Pasta Escape. And it's hard to see with this mask on, so we'll see how well I can read. Alright. Since the beginning of their lives, which was earlier that morning, the pasta at the factory followed the rules. They stuck to their own kind, they stayed still in their packaging, and they never spoke to humans. Pasta that obeyed, they believed, got sent to a super place. So macaroni went one way and rotini went another. Fettuccine was boxed while ramen got vacuum sealed. Bow ties filled elegant canisters and jumbo shells were stuffed. They didn't mix, move, or mingle. They were very good noodles until... These noodles are making me hungry. Let's eat. Good idea. I'm having pasta salad. You? Leftover foe. Fettuccine quickly called a meeting. Ah, uh, they're gonna eat us. Calm down, said Bowtie. Why would the humans make us only to get rid of us? What a load of meatballs, grumbled Ramen. Chill, dude, said Mac. You'll get yourself in knots. The Rotini gang chimed in. We present exhibits A, B, and C. Everyone examined their packages. The evidence was overwhelming. Fettuccine sobbed. Just cover me in Alfredo sauce now. Ramen snickered. You mean Alfredo sauce? Mind your own manner, said Bowtie. Yeah, peace and love, said Mac. Jumbo Shell began to sweat. We need a plan. Let's hide, said Fettuccine. Let's politely protest, said Bowtie. We'll sit here quietly until they change their minds. No way, said Ramen. Let's burst out of our packages and give them a piece of our minds. Now let's not get carried away, said Mac. And what about that super place we've been hearing and dreaming about? Snap out of it, guys, said Wagon Wheel. Any more ideas, Spaghetti? You're awfully quiet over there. Forget Spaghetti, said Rotini. If we execute this plan perfectly, it will work. But it means sacrificing the ravioli. It's the only way. The ravioli were outraged. They called the tortellini for backup. Fight, yelled Ramen. Chaos broke out on the floor. We need a miracle, wailed Fettuccine. No, boomed a heavenly voice. Everyone froze. All eyes shifted to the conveyor belt. You need an angel. It's simple, said Angel Hair. We just have to use our noodles together. She huddled them up and they quickly cooked up the perfect plan. They stuck to their own kind. They stayed still in their packaging and no one spoke a word. Until they were on vacation in a very super place. The end. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.